G'day everyone, Lucas here from the Aussie Gamers Experience and today I have a long awaited update about the Seagull World Sydney statues that have sadly been left to rot in a junkyard west of Sydney. Now back in March of 2019 I made a short series of videos in relation to trying to save these statues and have them restored. Brian from Synth Spaces helped out with this and uh, unfortunately all of those attempts were unsuccessful. Now ever since those videos were released in 2019 they have been continuing to get comments and people want an update as to what's happening now. Unfortunately through 2020 things got really difficult with the COVID issue and things like that with not being able to uh, go places in the public it sort of really put a halt on our attempts. Today I went and had a look at the statues to see what they're like. And we'll get to that in this video. But first I want to take a look at the history of these statues and Seagull World Sydney itself and a little bit of the background of what's actually happened in the past. Kind of save you guys having to go and check out the old videos if you haven't already. So let's have a look at that. Seagull World Sydney opened its doors for the very first time in 1997 and this was located in Darling Harbour in Sydney's heart. Low attendance numbers and financial losses led to Seagull pulling out of their partnership with Seagull World which inevitably left the theme park to close its doors in the year 2000. All of the contents of Seagull World Sydney were auctioned off in 2001 to a gathering of around 300 bidders most of which was unsold for nominal prices. Now this is only an assumption, but this may be how the Sonic and Sally statues ended up in a junkyard in Western Sydney. After learning of Synth Spacey's pioneering discovery of the decaying Sonic and Sally statues, in 2019 I made my way to the junkyard to see them for myself. I made some inquiries of my own in order to try and secure them for restoration but with hindsight the whole mission was a waste of time and this is due to the so-called owners being against selling them off regardless of any offers that were made. This may or may not be the actual statues that are decaying in the Western Sydney junkyard. Regardless this is what these statues once looked like. Now I am about to reveal the state of the statues as they lie today. The following images are quite graphic so if you have a weak stomach now might be the time to look away. That is the sad story of the Sonic and Sally statues from Seagull World Sydney. Is this the end? Well, it kind of seems like a lost cause. They're in very bad shape and I would say beyond repair. Unless something else happens, like a miracle, it probably is the end. But thank you very much for checking out this video. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. Put a comment down below with whatever you're thinking at this point in time. I would appreciate all of that oh so much. Until next time, I am Lucas and I will see ya!
without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. That's a song I wanted to play in this video, but I knew that I'd probably get a copyright claim and couldn't use it. If I get copyright claimed from me singing that just then, I suppose that's probably a bit of a compliment, even though that was woeful. Bye-bye. <laughs>